Hey everyone, this is Maxim from Element.O and in this video we are going to have a look at how we can implement page transitions. Just like this with the brand new page transition feature directly from Element.O. So no custom code, uh, all straight from Element.O. It's still in beta version right now. So there are a few things that don't work as expected. but. Uh, Let's uh, preview how this works. Well, the first thing you will want uh, to test this out is to, well, if you want to test it out right now, instead of waiting, you will need to install the El Elementor beta. It's available in the re repository. If you go to add new, search for Elementor beta, uh, you will be able to install it. I don't suggest you install this uh, on any production website, of course, just on some kind of staging or uh, testing uh, website. And then of course you need Elementor and Elementor Pro. Uh, and then you will be prompted to update um, Elementor and Elementor Pro to the uh, beta versions. So after you've got all of this, you will need to go A under settings. And even if you watch this a little bit later and now it's uh, ready, uh, you will still need to go A. You need to come A under settings. And then you will need to enable the uh, page transitions feature and then uh, save. And after this, uh, when you go in the navigator editor, you will go to this icon to site settings. And then it will be A under page transitions. And page transitions is not the only thing they have there. They also have preloader, but for now, uh, I tested this, nothing works essentially, so uh, you cannot really test this preloader option for now. But the page transition actually, uh, they, they work fine. Uh, the options are limited, they work fine. And if you just remove the exit animation, so you, you have none and you just have an entrance animation, then you essentially have the same thing as a preloader. It's just that the preloader has well, it will have more option in theory. For now, it doesn't. So let's have a look at uh, the options we have now. Let me zoom in a bit. So we essentially have the choice between a plain color transition or a gradient transition. So for some design, one might be better than the other. Uh, both work just fine. So I went with a plain color, made it black, any color of course will work. And then the entrance animations. So we have the choice between fade in and we have a kind of preview when we uh, change it. So if we click A, we should see some preview. It's still uh, a little bit buggy. Now you see like we don't really, we don't really see the preview for some reason. Yeah, it's it's just uh, it's just a little bit buggy. But what you can always do is simply update, and then have a look from the front end, and it uh, it will work as intended, at least as much as it works right now. So let's say I change page. So yeah, so it's kind of fine. Uh, fading down. So we have like those uh, about 10 options. Uh, zoom in didn't look really good when I uh, tested it quickly. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see. I don't know. Not, not for me. Uh, Let's try fade in right with fade out left. When you revert these, I think that's when you get the, the best uh, the best animation. So fade in right, fade out left. And now let's go through a few page. So let's transition. And the way it works is that when you click, uh, it will prevent the new link from loading right away. 
it will play out the animation and then it will direct you to the right page. So all this to say that in short, this does slow down the navigation. It's not like it was showing this animation while the new page was loading in the background or anything like this. It's just you click, it plays this kind of animation and then it loads the new page and then it plays the, the, the intro animation. So for this I made it quick. Uh, the default was very slow so I made it much quicker. I don't think it's a good idea in general to slow down your website intentionally. Uh, so yes, well, I, I, I made it quick. Let's try out another one. Let's go with fade out down and entrance fade in up. And let's just change the uh, color for fun. Let's go with this. So let's... Yeah, that's fine. Not exactly what I had in mind too. I thought it would kind of play out in the same direction. Maybe I need fight out up or maybe I think fight and down. Fight and up. It looks the same. <laughs> yeah, the, the preview doesn't... Uh, it's just not too, uh, very reliable. Let's have a look from A. And after this, I will show you a little bug I found already. And then and, uh, I think that will be it for this video. Yeah, I'm still getting the... Um, the like the, the, the reverse animation, which is not what I want. Let's see if now I got it right. Going down and then going down. That's That's what I want comes in from the top and then goes away down. I think that's uh, that's all right. Hopefully at some point they will add the option to have some kind of word or icon, a, a bit like they have in their preloader. So in, well, what they plan to have in their preloader, in the preloader, uh, they, they have like some animation, some dots, uh, all, all kind of of different and you of course you can adjust the, the size of, of stuff and and then you have the choice to have like your own icon and then to have it uh, with the animation that you choose now they seem to be working better than earlier actually I, I wasn't getting this preview when I tested this earlier so I'm not sure why now it's uh, it's working better but yeah it definitely is so, and then you have like this, maybe something like Pulse would be much better. It's a bit slow. Uh, yeah, something like this with your own like logo or something, or maybe Flash. Like these other just don't really fit well for a, uh, a, a, pre, a preloader. But at least egg, you have some kind of brand then something. So let's say, let's say we add this. I will need to turn this off, maybe. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure what will happen if I have uh, if if I have both of these now. Yeah, it looks like it looks like you can have kind of all three. All right, seems to be working uh, fine. Uh, better than in my earlier tests. But let's uh, let's remove it. All right, and finally, let me show you a small bug that I found. So the way it works, essentially, um, I didn't look, but almost certainly, is there is some JavaScript that listens when you look at anything that's uh, that does a tag, so any kind of link, and and when you click on on a link, then of course it prevents the redirection from happening right away. The animation plays out. Uh, and, and then it the JavaScript redirects to the page where you clicked. But another thing that's a link is a pop-up. So you see this is a um, nav icon that links to a pop-up. And of course, I, I've got all the website that you've been seeing from the beginning from a uh, Elementor kit. So that's not my doing. I would not be using a pop-up for the navigation. Anyway, this links to a pop-up, as you can see in the bottom left corner, uh, in the URL 
but what happens is it even if this is like a pop-up on the same page it thinks that it's another link so it plays out the animation and then that's it <laughs> you are stuck there like nothing happens uh, there is no new page of course it's just supposed to have open a pop-up that we cannot see because it's under this so now yeah so not uh, not great but of course it's still in beta so uh, hopefully when it comes out it will know what's an actual link and what's a pop-up uh, or something else well uh, that's it so thanks for watching and I will see you very soon